Hello everyone and welcome to a brand new video on the channel. Today we are going to talk about the top 10 most impressive aircraft carriers in the world. Before we get started with the video, don't forget to smash the like button, share the video, and subscribe to the channel. Now let's get started. An aircraft carrier is more than just a large warship with combat capabilities. Due to the endless territorial conflicts that exist worldwide, the aircraft carrier is a symbol of might and prestige for navies all over the world. Among all nations' war material, these new battleships have been one of the most important additions. These ships have had a significant impact on several nations' defense systems ever since they were first built. Known as floating air bases, these enormous aircraft carriers are outfitted with a full-length flight deck that can be used for aircraft recovery, deployment, armament, and transportation. Serving as a naval fleet's capital ship on a waterfront, these ships are capable of transporting a wide range of aircraft, such as fighters, strike aircraft, and helicopters equipped with effective weaponry, among others. The majority of global powers are currently defending their maritime rights and interests by operating or constructing highly developed aircraft carriers. Thirteen navies around the world are currently using 41 active aircraft carriers. The navies of China, the UK, India, France, Russia, and Italy all currently operate one aircraft carrier, while the US Navy has the most active fleet with 11 aircraft carriers. However, India is set to launch its own aircraft carrier in 2022. Additionally, there are 14 tiny carriers that can solely carry helicopters operated by countries including South Korea, 1, Thailand, 1, Brazil, 1, France, 3, Australia, 2, Egypt, 2, Japan, 4, and Brazil, 1. The top 10 biggest and most illustrious aircraft carriers in the world are listed below. Number 1. U.S. as Gerald R. Ford Class CVN-78 the U.S. Navy's Gerald R. Ford-class battleships hold the title of largest aircraft carrier in the world. The first member of the class, U.S. Gerald R. Ford, was put into service in May 2017, and the four other members are currently undergoing construction. The Gerald R. Ford is a 337-meter-long, 78-meter-broad battleship with a total load displacement of 100,000. Its 78-meter flight deck features an electromagnetic aircraft launch system and advanced arresting gear. U.S. Gerald R. Ford can accommodate a total of 4,539 personnel and can carry over 75 aircraft. It is powered by two nuclear reactors and is equipped with RIM-162 Evolved Sea Sparrow missiles, RAMS or airframe missiles, and CIGAV-AOS or Phalanx Close-In Weapon System. Number 2. Nimitz Class USA The second largest aircraft carriers in the world are the 10 nuclear-powered Nimitz Class aircraft carriers of the U.S. Navy. They are unquestionably among the best breeds and exhibit every quality that these battleships need. In honor of U.S. Pacific Fleet Commander Fleet Admiral Chester W. Nimitz from World War II, U.S. Nimitz, the class's lead ship, was launched in May 1975, and U.S. George H. W. Bush, the class's 10th and last ship, went into service in January 2009. These 332.8-meter-long aircraft carriers have a 4.5-acre flight deck that can accommodate more than 60 aircraft and a total load displacement of 97,000 tons. These ships, which are propelled by two nuclear reactors and have a top speed of over 30 carats, can hold 3,000 to 3,200 ship company, 1,500 air wings, and 500 additional crew members. They were built in 1968 and put into service in 1972. They were soon relaunched with a nuclear propulsion system as multi-role carriers. Number 3. Queen Elizabeth Class, UK The third biggest aircraft carriers in the world are the largest ships of the UK Royal Navy. The Queen Elizabeth Class aircraft carriers, the largest warships ever constructed for the British Navy, are also the largest non-US Navy warships, surpassed only by Japan's Yamato-class battleships. Hingham is Queen Elizabeth, one of the two aircraft carriers of the Queen Elizabeth class in the Royal Navy, was put into service in December 2017, while HMS Prince of Wales was launched in the same month and put into service in December 2019. Both ships are 280 meters long and have a displacement of about 65,000 tons. The ships have the capacity to board 40 fixed and rotary wing aircraft. They can take off in four Merlin helicopters and 36 F-35Bs. These ships have automated systems and the newest technology, a combat operation only needs 679 crew members. Number 4. Fusion China On June 17, 2022, China Shipbuilding Industry Corporation's Jiangnan Shipyard in Shanghai launched the country's third aircraft carrier. After the US, China currently possesses the most aircraft carriers worldwide. 
The province that borders Taiwan on the country's east coast has the name of the aircraft carrier Fusion. The new generation Fusion, Type 003, China's first indigenous aircraft carrier is claimed to be more efficient and technologically sophisticated than the country's other two aircraft carriers. The other two are the Liaoning, Type 002, a use carrier purchased from Ukraine in 1998 and Shandong, Type 001, which was put into service in 2019. With a full load displacement of about 80,000 tons, Fusion can carry more cargo than any previous Chinese carrier and is on par with U.S. Navy aircraft carriers. With a 76 meters beam, it is 360 meters long. Additionally, it is the first aircraft carrier in the country to launch aircraft from the deck using an electromagnetic catapult as opposed to the ski ramp that Liaoning and Shandong carriers employed. Moreover, Fujin features a flat-top flight deck for effortless landings and takeoffs. Number 5. Admiral Kuznetsov, Russia One of the best aircraft carriers in operation right now is the Russian Kuznetsov-class carrier. Admiral Kuznetsov Aircraft Carrier which is currently the Russian Navy's flagship, is 305 meters long and has a 72-meter beam. It can carry 58,500 tons of cargo at full load. This massively armed vessel is capable of performing multiple roles, such as that of an aircraft carrier in addition to being outfitted with lethal enough armaments. Its 14,700 square meters flight deck accommodates up to 12 helicopters and 33 fixed-wing aircraft. Su-33, MiG-29K, and Su-25 UTG-UBPS Teovil fighters as well as Ka-27S, Ka-27LD-32, and Ka-27PLO helicopters may all be accommodated on the aircraft carrier. Admiral Kuznetsov is also able to accommodate 40 flagstaffs, 626 aviation groups, and 1,960 ship companies overseas. Admiral Kuznetsov will be out of commission for maintenance and refurbishment as of July 2021. It was damaged from the floating dry dock PD-50 in November 2018 by a falling 70-ton crane, which claimed two lives during the refurbishment. An update is scheduled for June 2022. Number 6. INS Viker in India The first aircraft to be designed and built in India is the indigenous aircraft carrier INS Viker. The Cochin Shipyard Limited was the site of the construction. After completing its sea testing, the ship is scheduled to be commissioned in August 2022. The project came to a total cost of about 3.1 billion US dollars. The ship is 262 meters long and 59 meters wide with a loaded displacement of about 45,000 tons beam. AMS Vikramadigya is larger than INS Vikramadigya in terms of size, while INS Vikram is technologically more advanced and can accommodate up to 40 aircraft on its deck. Number 7. Cavour, Italy with a maximum load displacement of 30,000 tons, the Italian Navy's flagship, a Cavour aircraft carrier, is equipped with a number of defense systems, including decoy launchers, cannons, and short-range defense systems. Cavour has a flight deck of 232.6 x 34.5 meters that can hold up to 20 aircraft, including JSF AV-8B Harrier, EJ-101, AB-212, NH-90, and SH-3D helicopters. With a 39-meter beam, the 244-foot aircraft carrier has enough room to accommodate up to 24 main battle tanks. With the aid of six diesel generators, it can reach a maximum speed of 16 knots. Number 8. Juan Carlos I, Spain The Spanish Navy's Juan Carlos I is an aircraft carrier. It bears the name of the former King of Spain and is the biggest ship ever built for the Spanish Navy. September 2009 saw its introduction, and on September 30, 2010, it was put into service. The aircraft carrier has a length of 230.8 meters and a width of 32 meters. It can travel 9,000 nautical miles at a speed of 15 knots and has a displacement of 27,079 tons. It has a diesel-electric propulsion system that allows it to reach a top speed of 21 knots. It has an AV-8B Harrier II aircraft and a 202 meters flight deck with a ski jump ramp. It features a 6,000 square meter hangar area and multipurpose garage spread over two stories. There are 11 decks on Juan Carlos I, including a heavy deck, flying deck, hangar, floating deck, and medium deck. It can easily hold 1,400 people, including 247 crew members and 890 embarked forces. It was built to function in joint force projection, amphibious operations, disaster relief, and humanitarian aid missions. Number 9. Hitiyamas Chakri Narubet, Thailand The Thai Navy's flagship is the HDMS Chakri Narubet. Inspired on the design of the Spanish aircraft carrier Principe de Asturias, it is also the only aircraft carrier in the nation. 
Launched in 1996, it was constructed by Spanish shipbuilder Bazan. In 1997, it was put into service with the Royal Thai Navy. Being the first aircraft carrier controlled by a country in Southeast Asia, it is a source of pride for the country and even the region. HM King Bumabol Aduliadej gave her the Chuck Semek Pier at Sadahip Naval Base as her home port. The ship has 11 stories, 182.65 meters in length, 30.5 meters in width, and a 6.12 meter draft. At 12 knots, she can travel 10,000 nautical miles and her top speed is 25.5 knots. Modern weapons and a long-range search radar system are also included. It includes a flight deck that is 174.6 meters long and 27.5 meters broad, enough to accommodate up to 675 personnel, with hangar room for 10 aircraft. It is designed for helicopters and airplanes that take off and land vertically. As a flagship, it commands the naval fleet in times of conflict and is in charge of air defense and maritime combat. In regular times, it safeguards the marine environment, helps with disaster relief, and defends the country's maritime interests. Number 10. Shandong, China On April 26, 2017, China's second aircraft carrier, Shandong, was launched. The Shandong is China's first domestically produced carrier, in contrast to Liaoning. The SWAR, short takeoff but arrested recovery, system is used by both carriers, which are comparable in size to launch and recover aircraft. But Shandong is China's premier aircraft carrier because it was built recently and has noticeably more sophisticated equipment and technology. With a total load displacement of 70,000 tons, the Shandong is 305 meters long and has a 75-meter beam. On its deck, it can accommodate a maximum of 44 aircraft. Thank you for watching our video. Please like video and subscribe our channel. Thank you again.